the fallout from the Harvey Weinstein scandal continues. Actress Ashley Judd was one of the first to publicly accuse Harvey Weinstein of sexual harassment. Join us for today's topics via satellite from New York City's the host of Daily Mail TV. Please welcome Jesse Palmer to the show. <laughs> Jesse. You know, I, I hate that we're talking about more and more headlines like this, but the fact is more accusers are coming out. What, what's the latest that you're covering on this story? There are more and more accusers coming out about this every day. It's something that DailyMail.com readers continue to want to know about. And one, one thing that I hope in the big picture as we talk about sexual harassment, this isn't something just happening in Hollywood. It's not something that's just happening to A-listers. This is something terrible. This is an epidemic that's happening around the world to women in all different walks of life, in all different types of industries. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the awareness now, as more and more women come, come forward, brave women that come forward and speak about this, will raise awareness so that we can finally bring a stop to this and put measures in place to put a stop to predators uh, like Harvey Weinstein, if in fact he is guilty. It's just and Jesse, awful. And men like yourself, you couldn't have said it better. And men are jumping on board as well to support women that have been through this. But, you know, it seems as it plays out here in Hollywood where we are and where you are in New York seem to be the two hotbeds for Harvey's uh, uh, very, very poor behavior. I know the New York papers are having a heyday with Harvey, correct? Yeah, they sure are. And again, as more information, uh, information continues to leak out, certainly here in New York City, you know how the media is. They jump on that and they attack it. And it, this is something, obviously, a lot of people here in New York City, certainly people in the United States and around the world, are so compelled with. They'll continue to watch this as more and more information. Well, because, Jesse, the, the, the details of some of these encounters are so disturbing. Among the latest accusations, you may all have heard of this, a former Weinstein production assistant claims Weinstein forced himself on her orally while she was menstruating. She broke the news in a chilling press conference. After a few minutes of greetings and normal conversation, Harvey suddenly asked me if I'd give him a massage. I said, no, sorry, I'm not a masseuse, and I suggested he contact hotel reception with his request. He kept messaging and calling me. He was extremely persistent and physically overpowering. He then orally forced himself on me. I was mortified. I was in disbelief and disgusted. <laughs> I would not have wanted anyone to do that to me, even if the person had been a romantic partner. I remember Harvey afterwards rolling over onto his back saying, don't you feel we're so much closer to each other now? To which I replied, no. Really chilling details and obviously the emotion is palpable. Jesse, I'm curious because you're following this story day in and day out. Do you think criminal charges will be brought? Uh, it remains to be seen. I would say right now, I, I would certainly personally think so. But, you know, to me, what, what's so hard to wrap my head around in all this is more of these accusations come out and these allegations come out. A lot of the stories are very similar to one another against Harvey Weinstein. We've heard stories of him having intercourse with women without wearing a condom. It's, it's terrible terrible to even fathom how someone could do that and take advantage of his power and abuse his own power. I think that's what so many people are having a hard time understanding. Well, well good. clearly a, a pattern, so much similarity in the stories that we're hearing. I know in New York State, the laws have changed, so it could be much easier to prosecute Harvey in New York because they've lifted statute of limitations on these sex-related crimes. You know, and I, I think that's one thing a lot of his accusers are aware of as well. And as they meet with their counsel and their lawyers, that's information that will all come together and potentially uh, uh, processing criminal charges against Harvey Weinstein. Well, certainly the sense of entitlement that can come with a powerful position is, is truly frightening indeed.